Hello and welcome to my shop. My name is George and I'm coming to you from Chelsea, Quebec. A couple of days ago Tim wondered what this bench accessory was um, and that's when I realized that uh, this could be leggy tip number three. Uh, leggy because it has legs. It's been with me for a long time. I use it frequently uh, and it's something that I'm pretty sure will be useful in many of your own shops. So what do I call it? Well, I didn't call it anything for the longest time and since Tim's uh, request I thought I should give it a name. Now uh, your typical workbench is at a perfect height for many operations but not all. Sometimes you want the work elevated a little bit. So uh, that suggests a name for this thing, a work elevator. Sometimes you'll want to have the workpiece up at abdomen level, maybe even a bit higher, and that's what this thing does. It, it gives you a few different options on how to hold a workpiece a little bit higher than the workbench gives you. So a few words about its uh, construction. It's uh, a four-sided box with open ends. The uh, joints are rabbited. The width is approximately seven inches, but you know, of course that can uh, vary. One of the sides, which becomes the bottom, is longer than the others, and uh, that's to give, uh, give us an easy way to clamp the thing to um, the, the top of a workbench, uh, presuming that your top overhangs uh, a little bit. When I do uh, clamp it to the workbench, I make sure that the face that's facing me uh, is either parallel to the edge of the workbench or sticks out a little bit. The um, holes and slots that you see in it uh, are for holding workpieces fast to uh, this accessory. So, there are a series of uh, large holes at intervals, uh, along with uh, slots across the top, uh, right over top of the holes. And the holes are there so that a clamp can uh, easily be uh, rotated. Um, so the slots let the uh, clamp uh, slide through, and then you can spin it around and get it to hold on to uh, a workpiece uh, if you want to work the, uh, the top edge. So uh, in this case I'd be uh, cleaning up the uh, surfaces uh, in between the pins. It always takes two clamps uh, to hold the thing uh, firmly. Um, the uh, slots are large enough uh, to take my F clamps. Uh, they also accommodate uh, speed clamps uh, as well. Now, another thing that I've recently added is a way to hold things on the uh, surface. Um, and that comes in handy when you want to, uh, say, chop the material in between pins or uh, dovetails. Uh, so for that, I added some holes here at the top to let these uh, smaller clamps spin around. So these clamps can fit in like this. When the shaft gets to the hole, you can spin it around and hold the workpiece down this way. Uh, I also have some small holes in between the large ones and I've completely forgotten what they were supposed to be for. If you have a long piece that you want to hold down flat, uh, you can also use the open ends to uh, clamp the thing down. This thing has proved to be very useful uh, over the years uh, and it's one of those things that I use a lot in the shop, uh, it's had that um, that sustainability of 
not being abandoned. You know, you'll sometimes you'll make something, you think it's a good idea, and then you find yourself hardly ever using it, maybe maybe never using it. Uh, well, this thing is different. I've been using it often over the years. Right. So I just reviewed uh, the footage uh, that I shot, and uh, along along the way, I forgot to mention uh, one or two things. So uh, I'll say them uh, now. So one thing that I forgot to uh, tell you about is that on this bottom panel. Uh, I added a couple of strips of wood to serve uh, sort of as uh, feet. So if there's any irregularities in the uh, bench top uh, along the way, the thing won't rock. It'll just be sitting on its feet uh, and that'll be fine. Uh, strictly speaking, I don't think these are, are necessary. If your bench top is flat, then you shouldn't have any irregularities causing uh, rocking. Uh, so that was uh, one thing. Ah, another thing. Um, you're looking at what is effectively the back of the thing the whole time. I forgot to mention that the front is identical. You probably figured that out uh, for yourself. But yeah, a large hole here that accommodates the rotation of the clamp has to be matched with a large hole on this side. I also have the small holes on the other side. Still don't know what they're for. The length. I forgot to tell you the length. Now, uh, it's arbitrary. Uh, typically, I'll use maybe half, maybe a little bit more than the half of the existing length. Uh, but the existing length is 28 and a half inches. So, something between 2 and 3 feet seems to be a good uh, measure. So that was the length. Uh, ah, the, uh, the dimensions. Uh, there really isn't uh, much to say about the dimensions because you'll want to fit the thing to your clamps. Uh, so the width of the uh, shaft uh, of the clamp is important to know. Maybe it's different uh, in your case. Uh, but that's useful for determining the diameter of the hole. Same goes uh, clamps of this size. Uh, you, they're probably random source. And again, the shaft size of this one probably won't match what you've got uh, in, in your own shop. Uh, so that goes to the diameter of the holes on the top. To give you a sense of it, these are three quarters of an inch uh, in diameter. And these... They look like they're about an inch and an eighth or, or so, roughly. But anyhow, you'll measure your clamps and work out what to do with them. As far as the spacing between the channels, um, that has to do with the uh, throat that you have on your, on your clamps. Uh, the spacing is too far for these guys. They've got a short throat. But it's just right for my Bessie F clamps. Can't even read my writing. Ah, nice feature where the handles end up. Uh, it's happened to me so many times when I'm uh, gluing up. Uh, uh, well, a bunch of pieces that need to be glued uh, together. My clamps very often will end up near the surface or on the surface of a table. And uh, then when you try to cinch them, you have to put a lot of force between your fingertips. And that's not a useful way of working the clamps. This thing is really sweet because all of the clamp handles end up in the air and you can get a really good grip on them. Not, not that it's necessary for the kind of work that this thing uh, does, but the clamps that are on the bench, the ones that straddle the front and back, uh, the ones that dive into the body of the box, all of those handles are in the air. This is a really sweet device to be working with. Anyhow, 
I've said what I've come to tell you. Uh, I hope you found uh, this uh, accessory interesting. Uh, I've already forgotten uh, its name. Uh, what is it? A workpiece elevator? Sounds good to me. Bye for me for now. And uh, let's remember, make whatever time you need for your passion. But if you can share it, that is so much better. Bye again.